Hi there, my name is Bridget Mackay. I'm an attorney in Petaluma, California. I work in the area of estate planning, ta uh, trust administration, and elder law. And today I want to talk about your home. It is oftentimes your biggest asset and it protects you in some ways. So you should protect it. How does it protect you? If you're aged and disabled and uh, you have a spouse that needs to get long-term nursing home care, and you apply for Medi-Cal, your home will be exempt and protected being counted as an asset when you apply for Medi-Cal. However, you will then in turn have to protect your home because when your spouse passes away and when you pass away, Medi-Cal, if they've paid for any care for that aged and disabled spouse, can come after the home to recover funds paid out for that spouse. So it protects you when you want to or need long-term skilled nursing and can't pay for it, but you in turn have to protect it and make sure that it's in an irrevocable trust or in um, an entity that will um, protect it from being recovered on from Medi-Cal. The next way that your house protects you and is a good asset is in capital gains taxes. So if you were to sell any kind of capital assets, stocks, bonds, um, investments, uh, commercial property, uh, the IRS wants to take a chunk of that and tax it from uh, whatever you made on it. So the difference between what you sell it for and what you bought it for. However, your home, if you've lived in it for two to five years, has an exemption to that capital gains tax. If you're single you, and you've lived in your home two to five years, you have a $250 exemption, $250,000, sorry, dollar exemption. And if you have a spouse married, the two of you have a $500,000 uh, tax exemption from that capital gains. So really think twice uh, when you sell a house or transfer a house. Finally, how does your house uh, protect you from taxes is property taxes. Some of you may not know this, but if you transfer your home to your children or to your parents or parent, you know, vice versa, either way, up or down, there is an exemption to property taxes. In other words, as a parent, if you're under Proposition 13 and you've, you've lived in your house and you're choosing to transfer it as a gift, to your children or you've passed away and it transfers to your children, their property taxes will not change. The house will not get reassessed and brought up to date for today's value. So um, that's another way that your house gives some tax shelter to you and your family. If you have any other questions about all the different benefits you have in your house, you should go see um, a, a state attorney in town and they'll help you.